What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna look at button bitmaps for Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at button bitmaps. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, today's video should be short and sweet and pretty easy. We're going to look at bitmaps for buttons. Now, Kinter comes with these nine bitmaps that you can use in your buttons. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Now you can use your own bitmaps if you want. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So I've got a file called bitmap.py, basic Kinter starter code that we always have. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash terminal as always. So uh, like I said, Kinter comes with these nine bitmaps that you can always use. Now, if you have other ones, you can use them. If you have different ones on your computer, you can definitely use those. But across platforms, these are the nine that you can sort of count on to be there. So let's just go ahead really quickly and create a button. I'm going to call it my button. And this is a button. We want to put it in root. And we want to set not text like we usually do. We set text equal to, you know, something. We don't want to do that. We don't want text on these. We want to put bitmaps on them. And to do that, we just call bitmap and set that equal to something. Now, like I said, there are nine of these that you can that you can use. And we'll look at all of them here in a second. But for now, I'm just going to put in error and uh, we'll see what that one is. So let's go my underscore button dot pack and let's give this a pad Y of 20. Now you can't really change the font face size of these, but you can change just the button size. So I'm going to make the button a little bit bigger just so it's you know kind of easier to read. So width and height, we'll give this each 50. And down here, maybe we'll give this pad Y of 50 to push it down a little bit more. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. So Python bitmap dot pi. And when we do, we see we get this button with the error bitmap. And it's just a circle with a line drawn through it. Now, why would you ever want to use this? I, you know, I don't know. There are many situations where you may want to X out a button or you may say, you know, here's a button, but don't click it or I don't know. But uh, <laughs> that's how you use this. So it's really just that easy. Now, there are not much that we can do to play around with this. We could change the foreground color, you know, to any color we want or our hex color codes. We could do that. So let's go ahead and run this guy again. And you see now it turns red. That's sort of the nice thing about bitmaps. Bitmaps are images that are basically just one or two colors. So they're really kind of weird in this world that we live in now with computers and, you know, zillions of colors and everything, high definition monitors, 4K, 8K, all these different things to sort of harken back to something that only has one or two colors in it is, you know, a little weird and maybe not all that useful, but this does exist. So I wanted to show you guys about it in case there's some reason you do need to use it. Now, if it were me, I would probably not use a bitmap. I would just use a PNG file and put that on the button. We've got lots of videos in the playlist about using images on your buttons to make your buttons look however you want. You can even make the buttons not look like buttons. They could just be, you know, round and sleek and stylish as an image. So I would probably just do that. But there may be certain circumstances where you need to use a bitmap for your button. And this is how you do it. So like I said, there's nine of these you can count on using and you can use your own bitmaps. So let me just paste this in and then we'll talk about this. These files, if you want to use your own, it is a .xbm file, I think, or XMB. I always forget XBM, X bitmap. So it's the X system of Windows, the Windows X system, which if you know anything about old Windows stuff, you'll know what that means. If you don't, doesn't matter at all. And BM stands for bitmap. It's kind of hard to save a file as an XBM file. I don't know how to do it with Photoshop. I kind of looked around and I couldn't figure it out. I think the program GIMP, which is a sort of free open source version of Photoshop, sort of, I think GIMP allows you to save files as .xbm files. So if you want to create your own, you can do it like that. But like I said, I wouldn't because just use a regular image, just use a PNG file and use that as an image on your button like we've done in the past. Like I said, check the link in the comment section below for the playlist if you want to see videos on how to use images for your buttons. So these are the nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these things that you can sort of count on. And we just kind of slap them in right here. So if we want warning, 
instead of error, we would just put warning in there. So if we go ahead and save this and run it, we get an exclamation mark, right? So, you know, that's kind of fun. And I'm not gonna go through here and do all of these one at a time. So let's just create a whole bunch of buttons all at once. So let me copy this sort of our list here and let's make this into a list. I'm just gonna call it list, set it equal to a Python list. And I'm just gonna paste these in here. And I'm just gonna come through here real quickly and put these all in quotation marks. Bear with me. Just take another eight seconds or so. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. Ah, look at that, I beat it. <laughs> We're also gonna need some commas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've got this list of all of our bitmaps. So let's create a, a loop. So let's go for map in a list. And I wanna loop through our list and let's just create a button. We wanna put it in root. We want the bitmap to equal map, which is this variable, which is gonna be each one of these. And if we want to, we could do, we could do width equals 50, height equal 50, and let's give this a foreground color of, I don't know, let's go dark blue this time. All right, and then we can, if we wanted to dot pack this and give this a pad Y of 20. Now, normally I don't recommend putting your dot pack on the same line that you defined a thing because that can lead to all kinds of different problems down the road. But in this case, this is all we're doing. We're just putting these buttons on the screen and these buttons don't have commands. We're not actually gonna have them do anything. So this will work just fine. Let's go ahead and save this and run it one last time. And boom, now all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them are on the screen. If we bring back our code here and sort of put this side by side, we can see here's error, that's this one. These gray, 75, 50, and 12, you can't really tell, or maybe you can, but these are little dot patterns, right? So the 12 is less dots and the, the 50 is more dots and the 75 is a whole lot of dots. It's just a little dotted pattern. I'm not really sure why. Uh, we've got hourglass here. That's kind of a cool one. If you wanted to have your button wait for a while before it does something, you could put an hourglass on there till it's done loading whatever you need to load in the background and then it would, you could take the hourglass off sort of automatically, maybe some sort of use for that one. Uh, info, this little eye, this quest head is a fun one. It's a, looks like a person's head with a question mark in it. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, we've got question, big question mark, and warning, this exclamation mark. And of course these buttons don't do anything, but uh, fun. So those are bitmaps. Again, I'm not really sure why you would ever wanna use these. Maybe if you're doing some old looking program and you, <laughs> you need something to look old and retro-y, maybe use those. Like I said, you can use your own bitmaps, the uh, .xbm files, but it's more hassle than it's worth. Just create a PNG file and use images on your buttons like we've done many times before, unless you just have to have a thing with a bitmap and then go, go for it. So that's all for this video. If you like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 on membership, so you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.